I'm sorry, but something's cropped up. I'm not going to be able to come to your party on Wednesday. I oh, know. Oh, what a shame. Never mind, eh? Hey, I'll make sure you get the top of the list for the wedding now. Hey, um, before you go, can I just... Can I run to it past you? Look, it's my mum in Spain. Yeah, but look at the date. It just doesn't make any sense because she told the police that she was here on that day. I stay with my dad's head in. Wasn't this the camera she dropped down the book? Oh, I... I, I don't know, is it? No, yeah, it's probably knackered. Right. Well, Gary told me to keep well away. You know, I'll think of the future. But I'm thankful I have one, thanks to him. You really listen to Gary, don't you? Take his advice. Yeah, yeah, I do. <sighs> Moving in with him was like... It was like coming home. I can see Gary and Maria and the lads in my life forever. You know, like my forever family, that's what we call it, innit? But wow, you don't seem very happy for me. I am, but... For what? <laughs> don't believe everything Gary tells you. Why, why, why would you say that? Just watch out for yourself. I'm not sure he's as good as he makes out. You know something? Sharon, you can't do that. You can't drop a hint and then <laughs> just shut your trap. I'm, all I'm going to do now is stress. I don't trust him. Is there something to do with this? Tell me. You're right. Laura was in Spain on that day. She didn't murder your dad. Gary did. Gary's no saint. I know that he's got a vicious temper. I've seen him nearly lose it a couple of times, but to... to murder my dad, why, 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 why would he do that? He told me Rick had threatened Sarah and the kids. I believed it at the time, but now, I don't know. I'm starting to think they might have been caught up in some sort of turf war. Well, if that's true, why did Gary get involved in my life? I think he felt guilty. Maybe it's a case of keep your enemies close. Enemy? <laughs> I was a kid when I met him. How could I have been a threat? I, I, I'm not being mean, but you were an easy target. Disastrous childhood. Practically raised yourself and then here he is with his ready-made family, making you feel safe and secure. Have you really never thought once that all this is too good to be true? Yeah. When my dad first disappeared, I suspected Gary had something to do with it, but I, I, I don't know, he, he convinced me I got it wrong. However you look at it, even if he's done any of this with a, a good heart, your shiny new life is rotten to the core. Then why did my mum confess to the murder? She was so selfish. She, she, she didn't stick her neck out for anyone. Look, he said that she'd done it for you, but, but now... I don't know. I, I, I think he might have coerced her into it. I bet she didn't realise she'd done a deal with the devil. But he pretended to welcome you with open arms. When all that time it what he was he was he was just doing that to protect himself. Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> Gary came to my dad's funeral. He stood next to me when I said goodbye. And he was like, We're here for you. You're part of this family now. He had tears in his eyes. Look, he's a very good liar. <laughs> How can anyone be so fake? He pretended that he cared for me, that he, that he loved me like I was his daughter. <laughs> but the whole time he was... He was just doing all for it for himself. How, how could he do that? Because his life depends on it. 